Sometimes when I see pictures of myself, I think, who the hell is this old man? Our reality is largely determined by our thoughts. And this is where we're in power. A while ago, I met a guy like two years older than me who had a quite similar life story to tell. And I saw him in depression. The girlfriend with whom he has moved from Germany to Romania has left. And even if he had built up a small business here, he seemed to have lost his courage. So he decided uh, to move back to Germany and talked himself into the idea that his adult children would need him there. Meeting this guy made me think about my own situation and future. Is my way of living still the best choice for me? Or am I only trying to prove persistence? And if yes, to whom? Would it not be time to move back to my home country and live a more comfortable life? Am I missing a, to adapt to a changing world and hide myself in my safe comfort zone? Playing my role as a farmer, hosting holiday guests and caring for the animals. Is this my final destination? But the answer I gave to myself is, no, I'm not him. This is not my story I, and I will not try to cheat on myself and go for the comfortable way. One reason why I recorded this video was to teach myself acceptance. No, definitely you're not in your 20s anymore when you thought the world is yours and time didn't matter. You're not even in your 30s when you were so ambitious to build up a career, a business, a house, a long-term relationship, a family. Like most people, I guess, in my 40s, I started thinking about if this life, which I'm living right now, is really making me happy and whether this should have been all. They call it midlife crisis. Well, definitely I passed this phase two and I also started over once again about 15 years ago. Now what? Uh, during all my adult life, I was passionate about dirt bike riding. Two years ago, I sold my bike uh, when I realized that I didn't take it out of the garage for quite a while. One reason was because uh, after several accidents I had, I started thinking about responsibility. Who would take care of the animals? Who would uh, do the work around the houses and garden? But this was only the rational explanation I gave to myself. The truth is my hunger for adrenaline kicks decreased. Also throughout my life, I found satisfaction in creating something new. I renovated houses, I started businesses, or uh, tried to learn something new. Uh, in between, I traveled and learned more about myself in several relationships. This is something that remained. I think it's only natural that if you wouldn't have built a life that meets your requirement at mid-50, you must have done something wrong. So, what is left to do? When you prepare yourself for retirement or old age, be sure you will soon reach there. When you pretend you're still 30 and have to build up and collect senses of achievement, you're stuck in the past. You refuse to grow up. As your mindset determines your life, your present and your future, I try to see myself and my life situation without rose-colored glasses. I'm very grateful for the life I have, for all the experiences I made and the joy I'm feeling. When I open the door in the morning, the dogs are waiting impatiently for my appearance, the donkeys greet me and the chicken, well, I don't know, really know what uh, are their emotions, but at least they need me to give them food. I'm also grateful for my health, 
if, if my energy decreased a bit in the last decades, I'm able to work, hike, lift heavy things and think clear. Most likely, when I was a young man, I must have looked quite cute. I was never convinced about that, but because very beautiful women were interested in me, I started to believe them. Today, I call myself lucky that I never considered that important. I never wanted to attract a woman because of my physical appearance. No, their interest should be based on my character, my way of going through life. Physical appearance is mostly good luck. Maybe some effort you put in it too. But the authentic me is something I had to build through my life and what I want someone to see in me. We have control over a lot of things in our life, but not about time. Whether you are a useless bum or the richest man in the world, the clock is ticking. Our lifetime is limited and all through my life I felt I shouldn't waste it careless. One really important question I'm asking myself looking back to my younger me and compared with the man I'm now is have I stayed true to myself? Have I traded my values for comfort? Did I lose some of my positive energy? Am I risking to become resentful and frustrated because life didn't always deliver what I aimed for? The answer has to be a clear no. And if in doubt, I know I have to make some corrections. This I owe to myself. And for this, I should never feel too old. Actually, getting old is a privilege, denied to many. People who see it as a threat will feel miserable. That's not an option for me. I have no control over time, but I do have control about how I decide to use it. And with some experiences and wisdom I collected throughout my life, with some peace of mind I grew, at least from my perspective, today is the best time I've ever lived. Thank you.